Welcome back everyone to Aaron Fector's Animatronics Experimenters Kit Part 2 Ladies and gentlemen Give your attention to Gary Gargoyle You tell him Gary Gargoyle, tell him where it's at with his very first song. Let's hear it for Gary Gargoyle. All right, all right, he wasn't that good. Settle down, hold it down, for heaven's sake. Okay, that's Gary Gargoyle and his very first song ever. And when you get your kit and you put it together and you start doing your songs and your shows, I want you to put it up on YouTube on my channel, Fan Programs. We'll let everybody see your creativity because your only limitation is your imagination. So let's talk about how we did that. How do we synchronize an audio track to the control signals that control the head? And what are the control signals anyway? Well, I got a letter on my YouTube account last night after I posted part one from a particular person named Surfing the Chaos. And Surfing the Chaos actually wrote in and asked us, what kind of signal gets sent to the cassette exactly? Is it just a sound wave that's inaudible to human ears? Or is it something else entirely? And then he writes, by the way, I love that wall. <laughs> so thanks, Serving the Chaos. We appreciate your, your message. And by the way, because you wrote us on YouTube, you happen to be the very first person to ask a question that got answered on this DVD, even before the DVD was published. It's amazing. I don't know how that worked. Well, anyway, Serving the Chaos, you're almost right. It is an inaudible signal, but only because we don't play it through the speakers. You see, a stereo recorder has two tracks, a left and a right. And we're going to use one track for audio, and we're going to put tones on the other track, completely audible tones. In fact, they need to be audible anyway so that they'll work on a stereo cassette recorder. Now, you don't have to use a stereo cassette recorder. If you wanted to, you could use a MP3 recorder, you could use a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, you could use a PC that you can record in stereo on. You can use any device that you can record stereo. The key issue here is that you're able to put audio on one track and our control signals, which are just simple tones in this case, on the other track. Now I actually have a button that's connected to a tone generator that comes with your control system. And when I press this button, it'll send a tone right through this second track here and out to the control box, which then opens Gary Gargoyle's mouth. So, if I press the button like this, it controls the mouth. Let's try it again. See that? So, by pressing the button, I open the mouth. By holding the button, I keep it open. And by letting the button go, the mouth closes. Okay, so we'll now record our first show. We'll just simply put the cassette deck in record. Note where we are on the tape counter. And here we go. So, what is your name, sir? I'm Gary Gargoyle. <laughs> That's a funny name. And uh, tell me, what is your occupation? I'm a comedian, and a singer, and a talking head. Oh, you mean like uh, on TV? No, right on this table. <laughs> okay, I see. Well, tell me, Gary, do you have any advice for the kids out there? Yeah. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess there's no question about where I got my inspiration for Gary Gar Gargoyle's voice. And who knows where you'll get yours. Okay, now let's watch that show back and see if it plays back the same way we recorded it. Here we go. And here we go. I say that So, what is your name, sir? I'm Gary Gargoyle. <laughs> That's a funny name. And uh, tell me, what is your occupation? I'm a comedian and a singer and a talking head. Oh, you mean like uh, on TV? No, right on this table. <laughs> okay, I see. Well, tell me, Gary, do you have any advice for the kids out there? Yeah. Jugs are bad. Jugs are bad. <laughs> okay, so there's Gary Gargoyle in his very first programming job. Thank you, Gary. And there's your first lesson in programming animatronics. I hope you learned something from it. It's going to come in handy when you start experimenting on your own. And I do want to tell you that I really appreciate all of the patience that you all have shown for getting these kits out to you. 
It's taken me a while because I want to make sure it's good and I want to make sure that the, the kit works and that all your pieces work and they all go together correctly and, and that everything's in the DVD that you need. Okay, and if I could name you all by name, I would, but, but of course that would take far too long to do. So I'll just say thank you to everybody. One big thank you without naming you. Chuck? Yeah, Chuck's one Danny? of Danny? Danny, yeah, Danny. Alex and Jacob? Yeah, Alex and Greg, Jacob. That's right. You'll Jake? Pick Jake? Ken and okay. Gunner? Okay, but you don't need to Chris? name everybody. Scott. Okay, it's just not necessary. Steve and Trevor. Okay, Steve and Trevor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop you right there, okay? Thank you to all of you for helping me launch what I hope will be the parent-child hobby of the 21st century.